is the season for some holiday hysteria, and it begins in the state of Illinois, where a satanic temple has added a statue in tribute to the Prince of Darkness among the twinkling holiday decorations in the state capitol, citing freedom of religion. And if that's not enough, liberals are still taking aim at Melania Trump's festive and patriotic decorations, accusing her of powwowing with Russia over her use of red Christmas trees. Recently, I spoke with president of Liberty University, Jerry Falwell Jr., on this and other issues with the war on Christmas. All right, Jerry, listen, this is like the Trump derangement syndrome meets the war on Christmas. These decorations look fine to me. The left is calling them evil, bloody, spooky. They called the hallway a murder forest. Do you understand the outrage? Um, the first lady was here at Liberty University, and she was asked a question about the criticism of her decorations, and she said, it's the 21st century. Everybody has different tastes. I, she said, I think they look beautiful. And the whole 10,000-seat arena it was packed. Everybody started cheering for her. They agree with her. And it's, uh, you know, it's just so, it's such a double standard. If she were married to a Democratic president, she would be on the cover of every fashion magazine True. just about every month because she's... I think the most beautiful and classiest first lady we've ever had. Yeah, she's definitely and the most stylish. And, you know, I have a lot in common with Melania. I mean, we are both incredibly stylish people. And sometimes we take fashion risks or design risks. And it's a burden that we bear because people just haven't really caught up to us. And eventually they will. And they don't understand, you know, red is the new black this year for Christmas. But, but I have a feeling, though, that if you decorated the White House, it wouldn't be as pretty as, if, as, as the way she's done. <laughs> you know what? I think you'd probably be right. I'd probably just put a yeah. bunch of punch bowls up there and fill them <laughs> to the brim. Um, all right, let's get yeah. into this Massachusetts town. I guess the town's Dorchester, a beautiful town mm. up in Massachusetts. They sent out an invitation to a Christmas party. And you ready? This is the theme. I'm dreaming of a white Dorchester. Now, you know, I'm mm -hmm. dreaming of a white Christmas classic right there everybody understands right. that but they got heat from all these left wingers at the town that says that's racist we're dreaming of a white dorchester well, or any, white christmas any, is racist anybody with any common sense knows it's a take off the song white christmas <laughs> it's 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 art and just like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer it's art and the left always uses art as an excuse to put to uh, put on display some of the most vile and um, and just just absolutely disgusting type of displays in different museums, but it's okay because it's art. Well, why isn't Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and White Christmas the song? Why isn't that just art? I mean, just it's it, to me, it's it's hypocritical. Another double standard from the left, and um, I think people are getting tired of it. I think people see through it. Just when you thought, just when we thought that they'd run out of people, classes of people to to name as victims, they come up with Rudolph the Red-Nosed yeah, Reindeer I mean, listen, as the newest victim class. Yeah, li listen to this Rudolph attack. The Huffington Post singles this out. They say Rudolph is, uh, it, 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 it exhibits racism and homophobia, and they called Santa Claus abusive and bigoted, and they said it, like, promotes bullying or something like that. You know, from my recollection of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I haven't seen it in a while, but the point was the people that were bullying Rudolph were bad, and he overcame the bullying to be the hero. Right, right. Wasn't that the exactly. point? It's the underdog, underdog making it to the top. That's, that's the way I took it. And it's yeah. just... Uh, I mean, I, you know, I agree with you. I think the war on Christmas is over. I think the people on that side lost, and they're just a bunch mm -hmm. of dead-enders running around. Now, this is, this is kind of a controversial story, and I understand the, the controversy. There's a town in New Jersey, and there's this one house that puts up all these lights, like 30,000 lights, very festive, very in the mm -hmm. spirit of Christmas, and neighbors and the mayor are complaining, and they say there's too many Christmas lights, it's a distraction, it's causing all this foot traffic in the town, and they want this house to pay all this security money because it's too crazy. Do, do you understand the outrage, or do people have a point? I don't think people should worry about what other people do on their property. I, I don't like zoning laws. I don't like, uh, we, we built, spent over a billion dollars here on campus the last 10 years. And we had to fight the city 
on so many different zoning matters where they tried to control us and tell us how we could do this and how big this sign had to be and how small this one had to be. And yeah. I just think they're good. I think it's un-American. I think we've gotten to a place where we let people who don't own any interest in property tell us what we can do with our property, and we're, and we're the ones that have paid for it. It's so true. I, I'm, I'm surprised yeah. they're not even complaining that the Christmas lights promote global warming. I mean, that's, that's where <laughs> I would have assumed they would have complained. All right, that Jerry. House remind, it reminded me of uh, uh, Clark Griswold's house in the, in the movie Christmas <laughs> Vacation. Exactly. I wonder, if, I wonder if he got grief for that one. Uh, exactly. Hopefully no one got <laughs> electrocuted like Clark. All right, yeah. Jerry, thanks yeah. very much. I appreciate it. And Great. Merry Christmas. Great to be with you, Jesse. Merry Christmas to you.